Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Last episode was quite interesting. Um, I don't really know what to make of it. So I'm hoping that today will bring more answers on what is going on, like why we need the book, whatever. By the looks of it, looks like we're gonna learn a couple more spells um, and try to get that under our belt in hopes that it'll help in combat. I guess let's just see what's gonna happen today. Let's go. You need to learn to pulso the banishing charm useful for pushing objects or adversaries away complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom Bevelio. there it is i was wondering where this was It was a long time ago! Okay, don't know what that's about. Can I just... I keep forgetting that I can teleport to places. Alright, let's see. Oh. I can't. Okay. I'm pretty close to this anyways. Okay. So I know this is where I'm supposed to be, but there's just this that I want to activate first. There we go. That way it's easier to come back next time. All right. Why is there like so much whispering stuff? What's going on? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. I'm going to be so bad at this. I'm warning. Mr. Clopton, I'm literally warning you right now. Please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. I'm going to be so bad at this. Oh, God. Up, up you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> okay, Lawrence. Chill. Oh. What's my right? Oh, this. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Oh my god. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Wish Do I had take my care. Room. The brooms are school property. Oh, I, I want them returned in this. one piece. Oh, I did it. That actually wasn't that bad. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I don't want to. Girl, why do you pull me through this? Oh god, okay, what are we what are we doing? What's going on? This next set of rings Hold R2 to the go faster. For more of a challenge. What have you? 
you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh my god. I almost well, didn't go through that ring. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> Oh. oh, I think that was very bad. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, well done. Have a moment. Nice. I did it. Oh, thank God. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Okay. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? I guess so. I feel like we're gonna get in trouble though. Oh, the debate. Uh... Screw it. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. You know, I always forget that Hogwarts the is in is about to begin. Is in Britain. Now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. L2. So. Oh, L. Oh, L2. There's the famous bridge. Like Think of. You sure you're not part hippogriff? I see. Okay. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, isn't that where they play Quidditch? That is where they play Quidditch. That's so cool. That's okay, this is... This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. This is, um... The game developers showing off their scenery, honestly. Looks like she's already dismissed Carl. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Okay. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Damn it. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Okay. I'm so sorry. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I apologize. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. I think so too. I think I did great considering the circumstances. I've never flown sorry about before. that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit those views were worth it. Yeah. But I yeah. Perhaps 
but we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. I do have a talent point that I haven't used, by the way, so I should probably use that. Let's see. The extra damage wouldn't be bad. You can do it on Stupefy. Stupefy already gives extra damage, so to do even more damage, like using Stupefy would be very, very helpful. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Sounds good. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. So that's in like Hogsmeade. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from prying eyes and distractions. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Um. So the question is, which one do I want to do first? So there's this one and this one. There's a side. There's also a side. Okay. Um. Conjuring spell. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go see what Professor Weasley is wanting from us. I swear there is a flu flame up here that I just haven't activated or something. Thank you. Okay. Also, all right. Oh my god. Nope. This little flame's underneath me. Isn't there one? It's like it's behind this wall. Is there no flu flame up here? Or maybe it's like... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Alright. How can I assist you, Professor Weasley? Or I guess how can you assist me? Because you said Weasley? something... About... <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Is it behind that giant tapestry? Oh, they had those in the movies too, like the Hogwarts movies. Forgot about those. That's so cool, though. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me, and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. She looks like so happy. She's like, yep, come along. <laughs> what is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. 
Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Aww. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Could use another one of those sets right about now. I'm gonna have to. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. Huh. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay, because I've collected a lot of Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Great question. What is that? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, okay. Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. So sorry. Having tea. That's okay. What is this supposed to do? I mean, there's nothing there. I thought it was a chest, but I guess not. I don't know. A minute. Hold it out too much. Okay, hold on. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> okay. Interesting. Trimming trees. 
Been offended the room thought I needed the bath. <laughs> that is a toilet flushing. Okay. This is so random. Oh my god, these lanterns are so pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I mean, just like how you're getting around right now, realistically speaking. Nothing crazy, you know? I don't know, man. What was that? Oh, isn't that the Quidditch ball? Is that a golden snitch? It is. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> no. Not climbing on that. So what are we climbing? I hear the sitch on the other side of this. And there is something behind this. There's a chest right there. How do we... How do I get to this? Oh my god, move. Okay. Maybe... Am I supposed to climb this? Oh my god, my camera is like so sensitive. Okay, maybe maybe this is what I'm cl No? Okay. Maybe this right here? No? Alright. I spent enough time on this. It's just for a freaking Kate. Like a chest that's probably just gonna have glasses in it. I'm, I'm fine. Nothing big. I hope that house elf can find us in here. There is a flu flame right here. There's the house elf. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. That looks like the Mary <laughs> Poppins bag. <laughs> Hello. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. Oh, wow. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest.
Whoa. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Wow. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Hmm. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I have to, okay, I have to use that. Makes sense. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. Why is he... Bro, he's just on the side scrubbing. What the... I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. I it think will. so too. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. So the like summoning creating or conjuring objects i'll teach you okay oh wow okay very good when conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. Mm. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Okay. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Okay. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Ooh. Quite perceptive. I didn't even think about Why that. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Okay. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. Now we need to conjure stuff. All right. Oh, it, oh. Interesting. Okay. And then conjure a potting table. Oops. So these are still... So I'm assuming a potting table will be under herbology. Yep. I don't know what these differences are, so... whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Okay. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. 
Wow. Very interesting. It's like my own study room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I have more than enough. You can enough. acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I've gathered more than enough, girl. Yep. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Okay, I am now... It's a big boy. Okay, and now we need something for the walls. Um, we'll do the gazing witch. Why is it forcing me to do this? I don't want to do this. This is... You know, I get that decorating is a lot of people's things, but it's not really my thing, realistically speaking. Not a decorator, man. I'm just telling you right now. I don't even want to have to do this. Quite simply put, I am just doing this kind of stuff is just not, it's kind of meh, you know? Good work. Shall we move on? Yes, please. All right. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. All right.
Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. I don't want to have to do all this, man. Change the color of an item. Change the color. Okay, I was trying to do the rug, but sure. Adjust the size of an item. No! I don't, like... Change the color of an item. I don't... I can't... There's nothing for color. Everything that I've conjured, there's nothing for color. What am I supposed to do? Is there color for this lamp? I have to conjure something that has a color? Like none of these none of these have color variants. I'm so confused. Not the floor, the freaking rug, dude. Okay, this is like impossible. Are you kidding? Can I like... My god. There's nothing for color. Oh. Jesus. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Dude, I literally don't you care about decorating. The directly on the room's architecture. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Designs on the floor or balcony. <sighs> Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Let's 
going on? Huh. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, no you thanks, can use I'm good. Spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the I school. Don't... Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Thank you. Use it wisely. I would like to leave. I know that decorating is like people love that stuff. I honestly could care less. No, that was kind of close. <laughs> close enough. Yeah, I don't know. Decorating, like, you know, never really care too much about it, I feel like. Oh, all right. Over here. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Sebastian, it's been a while. Yes, it, it has. has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, okay. let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Oh. I was like, why is it not letting me in? Wait, but he didn't go through. Okay. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Whoa. We used to play godsons here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't Whoa. give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. That's fair. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Hmm. I think I've seen Ominous in potions, or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost There's sentient. spells that can reverse Not that? Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found True. this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Oh. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of oh. the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Huh. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. 
Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringa. Confringa. Well. Alright, we're making a Z. Okay. Yeah, we're You're learning a it. lot of spells lately. I'm definitely gonna need... To actually try it out. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Confringo! Nice work. Ooh. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I do it. like this one better. Well done. Because in, in Candia, like Incendia doesn't have range and I'm a ranged player, so I like I it better. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I wonder the if that's why it's banned. It's like I dark arts, you, you get too into <laughs> it. Get and... to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, Ooh. you'll have to meet him too. Excuse me. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what mm. I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. I don't know about telling him everything already. Like... I get it, he seems trustworthy, but there's just something off about him. It's like, I don't know, it's like too trustworthy. Like he's trying to make himself so open. Um, yeah. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yes, sir. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. All right. Yeah, he's just like, I, I get it. But at the same time, I'm also like, you're being too trustworthy and I don't like it. It's like too friendly, you know, in a weird way. So. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Uh-oh. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. 
Sebastian told you, didn't he? No. You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. My God. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. I don't like your oh, attitude. I, I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian right, dude. is going to get an earful about this. You know... Uh... <sighs> Didn't have to be all that crazy. You could have just, like, I don't know. It just didn't have to be that insane. That was, um. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Adurus potions and use them simultaneously. Interesting. Huh. All right. And that's where I'm going to be ending these episodes. I am still very excited to keep playing this game. Very interesting. I don't know. Sebastian's like too nice that it's it's off-putting. It just it makes me feel like he has like a different reason for being so kind to me. And so it makes me like not want to open up to him. Interesting. It just looks like we're kind of getting a lot of spells in. This episode it was very much just Two more missions really nothing exciting happened our story didn't really progress too much it, it does make me wonder if this game is also kind of choice based um like if i had chosen to tell everything to sebastian in that moment would my story have changed a little bit more than the current state that it's in now where i have chosen to not tell him everything thank you so much for watching um if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I do try to reply to the majority of the messages and comments. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>